In my 2012 review, I explored the role healthy diet may play in preventing, treating, and reversing our deadliest diseases. In 2013, I covered our most common conditions. This year, I'd like to address some of our leading causes of disability. What about low back pain, like sciatica? You know, low back pain became one of the biggest problems for public health systems in the Western world just in the second half of the 20th century. Chronic low back pain affects about one in five, disabling 30 million Americans. It's an epidemic. Are people just lifting you know, more heavy stuff? No, mechanical factors such as lifting and carrying probably do not have a major role in the disease. Well, then what causes it? Touched on it before, atherosclerosis can obstruct the arteries that feed the spine and this restriction in blood flow can cause back problems. This can be seen on angiography, showing normal spinal arteries on the left clogged on the right, or an autopsy where you can see how the openings to the spinal arteries can get squeezed shut by these cholesterol-filled plaques on the right. Autopsy, because back pain can perceive, predict fatal heart disease, just like clogs in the penile arteries, uh, erectile dysfunction can precede heart attacks, because it's the same disease, inflamed, crippled, clogged arteries throughout our body. Now we have the MRI imaging, which can show the narrowing of spinal arteries in people's um, uh, back with back pain and the degeneration of the discs, all linked to high cholesterol. Those with narrowed arteries appear about eight and a half times more likely to suffer from chronic low back pain. And this makes sense. You know, the discs in our low back are the largest avascular tissue in the body, meaning they have no blood vessels, so nutrition just kind of has to diffuse in from the edges, so they're particularly vulnerable to deprivation. Using MRIs, you can measure the effects of this impaired blood flow on the diffusion, and you can see how this can turn into that. By age 49, 49, 97% of the discs of those eating a standard American diet show at least stage two degradation, starting in our teens. Our discs are already starting to degenerate by age 11. As I've talked about, nearly all kids eating the standard American diet have the beginnings of atherosclerosis by age 10. And sadly, low back pain is now common among children and adolescents, and it's getting worse. Just like children getting adult onset diabetes, teenagers starting out their life with a chronic disease. That's why it's never too early to start eating healthy. To get you back into circulation, you need to get circulation to your back.